We are all born with strengths and weaknesses. People with ADHD are no different than anyone else. They too have strengths and weaknesses. No one knows what causes ADHD, but we do know, no matter the cause, play attention can unlock each person's personal potential. Attention problems are just on the surface. Below the surface, we have problems finishing tasks, have poor memory, inappropriate behavior, and poor social skills. Play Attention is the only learning system available that combines feedback technology, attention training, memory training, cognitive skill training, and behavior shaping in one package. Play Attention can teach you the skills you need to thrive and succeed in the classroom or workplace. Play Attention uses patent-pending body wave technology. For the first time in history, brain activity can be accessed through the body. That's right. We are able to monitor your brain's attention and cognitive ability through the body using a specially designed armband. The body wave armband sends your brain data to the computer where you can control Play Attention's cognitive games by mind alone. Play Attention teaches the skills you need to thrive and succeed in the classroom or workplace. As the international leader in educational and attention training, Play Attention is used in thousands and thousands of homes, learning centers, by doctors, psychologists, hospitals, universities, schools, and even Olympic teams. Play Attention's 3D core games include Attention Stamina, Visual Tracking, Time on Task, Memory, Discriminatory Processing, Attention Stamina, You'll play this game to learn to pay attention for longer periods of time. As in all play attention games, your mind becomes the mouse or the joystick. You can move screen characters by attention alone. Attention becomes concrete and controllable. For example, the diver's downward motion is controlled by your attention. Loss of attention makes the diver rise. For the first time, you can see your attention in real time. Beware of other ocean creatures. Visual Tracking You'll play this game to learn to stay focused while visually tracking moving objects. Your full attention activates the patterns. Click only on the correctly colored blocks. Time on Task You'll play this game to learn to start a task quickly and finish it in an appropriate amount of time. You will drive a forklift or a crane by mind alone. If you lose attention, the vehicle will stop. Your challenge is to decrease the amount of time it takes to finish your project by paying greater attention. Memory. You'll play this game to learn to increase your memory skills by paying better attention. Your full attention activates the patterns. Once the computer has given you a pattern, enter the same pattern into the computer. As you get better, you'll get more challenging patterns. Discriminatory Processing You'll play this game to learn to filter out distractions. Your full attention flies the spaceship through an asteroid field. If you lose attention, the spaceship stops. Deflect only the white asteroids and avoid other spaceships. Other optional games include When you pay attention, the wizard will begin to build his castle. Your job in motor skills is to move your hands exactly as the wizard moves his hands. The wizard uses several different hand positions to move the castle pieces. These include palms up to lift the piece of the castle pointing up, pointing forward, rolling his fist, steady palm up, steady fist up, and steady fist down. Like all play attention games, if you lose your attention, the focus bar will turn white and the wizard will stop. If the wizard uses his left hand, use your left hand to imitate his movement while paying attention. If the wizard uses his right hand, use your right hand. In the intermediate and advanced games, the wizard will use both hands. You should too.
Watch for the dragon. You'll hear him in the beginner game. You'll see him trying to distract you in the intermediate game. In the advanced game, you'll have to use one hand to hit the space bar when the dragon flies by, or you'll lose points. A full behavioral shaping program is integrated to easily reduce or extinguish behaviors not conducive to learning. Play Attention offers home, professional, and iLab versions. However, every version comes with complete professional lifetime support. This includes free tech support, free family support, free educational support, free training, free data analysis, and a free personal support agent. A personal support agent works directly with you to ensure success. Your support agent typically holds a master's degree or higher degree. Your support agent will train you in a free telephone tutorial to get you started quickly. You may send your play attention data to our secure support site at any time. Your support advisor will analyze your data and send you back a report. This professional supervision is included at no cost to you. It's not an impossible mission to improve your attention, control behaviors, increase cognitive skills and memory, or improve your life. To get the most comprehensive, fun, and easy to use educational training tool available, call 800-788-6786 or visit www.playattention.com. All right, let's see how this actually works. It's pretty simple, but I wanted to make just a separate video for everyone here so that you can see how really effective and how easy this is. We made the Play Attention screen look like a web page. So you can tell right here as we get close to this, we take the mouse and slide right over the top of the tabs at the very top of the page. And you can see, you get drop-down menus virtually like you'd see on any web page online. So immediately, if you're accustomed to moving around the internet, you're going to be very comfortable moving around and play attention. Now, secondly, we've made the game menu down below very large. So if you want to come in and you want to immediately play games, it's very, very simple to do. Also notice that each game is played for a reason. Right? We know that we need to direct and sustain our attention, so we play attention stamina to do that. And you can notice also when I mouse over this, we have a beginner, intermediate, and advanced skill option. We'll always begin in beginner, and play attention will tell us when to move to intermediate or advanced, which offer greater time cha challenges and distractors. We also can play visual tracking so that we can learn to move about the screen with our attention, just like following the teacher or employer during a staff meeting or uh, during a lesson at class, so I can take my attention and follow that person. And we have time on task, the ability to start a task right away and then finish it with an, an appropriate amount of time. This is related to seat work or homework. And we'll actually show you today how we apply that to homework itself. All right, we have short-term and working memory modules so that we can take multiple step instruction. We have the new activity called social skills which allows us to sharpen our social skills enough to where we can learn to make friends and keep friends. We have motor skills to learn to coordinate mind and body so that I have fewer accidents and I have better handwriting. Academic bridge where I learn to apply the skills that I need from time on task to real homework just as if I'm practicing math, reading, or spelling and I can learn to do that on my own. A 20-minute homework assignment should take 20 minutes, not two hours in a fight. And finally, we work on discriminatory processing, the ability to filter out distractions. One of the first things I want to show you, though, before we actually get into the games, uh, is the Play Attention hardware. All right, Let's take a look at the hardware for Play Attention. You can see the Play Attention interface box is about the size of an iPhone, fits in the palm of her hand. And if she tilts the back of the box around for us here, you see that there are no wires here. It's an entirely wireless device. And we use a Bluetooth dongle. You're going to get one of these with the Play Attention box. It looks like this. 
it plugs into a USB port on your computer and it talks to that box wirelessly. So you have no physical connection to the computer. One of the very cool things about this is that you could be standing 30 feet away from your computer and still control it by mind alone. All right. Now, on the front of the interface box, you see a couple of ports right here that allow us to plug in our um, sensors. Right. And then next to that, you have the on-off light, on-off switch. Let's go ahead and turn the unit on. The unit will be green as it learns it's cycling through, and then it'll flash red when it's ready to communicate with a computer. It's that simple. Okay. Now with this, you're going to get body wave technology. All right. Now body wave is brand new. You may have seen the helmet on our website because we haven't updated that in a little while. All right. Body wave technology is brand new. All right. It's the first time in history that we are able to access brain data through the body. So no more need to wear a headset or gels or pace. We will be looking at brain activity through the body. Here's how it works. This is just a simple sleeve, like you would wear an iPod or an MP3 player when you went jogging. Let's go ahead and put the play attention device right down in the sleeve. All right. We slide that down in the sleeve. We plug the sensors in. Good. And on the back of this, look at what we have. There are three dry contacts. One, two, three. Those must contact the skin because we want to monitor what the brain is doing and we're going to get that through the skin. All right, so we'll close that armband on. All right, and we slide it right off. It has to contact the skin, but it's that simple. As you saw in the previous video, we actually are monitoring brain activity through the body. Now, let's see how this actually works. All right, so we'll just go over here to Attention Stamina. Let's click on Attention Stamina Beginner, please. And we'll select from one of these characters. And I think we'll just stay with the orca. Now, when we click on Play, we're going to see the orca swimming across the top of the screen. Now, with her mind alone, her mind is the mouse or joystick. Right? With her mind alone, she's going to make the orca swim to the bottom of the screen. All right? Now, in addition to that, what we'll see is that her behavior is actually a factor here. That there's a direct correlation between behavior and attention. So let's see how this works. First thing I want to show you in the upper portion, left-hand portion of the screen, is the attention meter. All right? When she's paying full attention, she can push that bar up to a full red. When she loses attention, as a matter of fact, I'll tap her shoulder here. Notice she doesn't have enough attention. The bar goes down to white, and the orca goes the wrong way. All right now I'm going to stop, and I need you to get back to full attention. Beautiful. Push it all the way down, please. Now again, I'll pull back so you can see her do this. No hands required. Her mind is the mouse or joystick. Now, attention is finally concrete. It's controllable. It's right in front of us. Now, when she's going to get rewarded, she gets treasure for being down there. So she gets rewarded for being in the focus state. Now, full attention, please. Great. Can you fidget around in your seat for me like students do in class? So this is what happened. Here's the what's happening with behavior. She fidgets, and you notice the attention bar has gone down, not enough attention. The orca is going the wrong way. Now I need you to stop the behavior and get back to a full attentive state. Beautiful. All right, can we pause right there? You did a great job for me. All right, so we hit the escape key on the keyboard, and that pauses the game. But we've just seen something remarkable here. We've seen a direct connection between attention and behavior, and that sets up the foundation for the behavioral shaping program in Play Attention. As a matter of fact, I'll model this for you with my assistant, just as if she were my sixth or seventh grader. Let's see how this is done. When you were fidgeting around, what actually happened to the screen character? He started to float up. What does that mean, though? that I'm not paying attention. Exactly. You're not paying enough attention. Do you do that in class? 
Probably, yeah. Yeah. I think your teacher tells me you're on your desk, you're under your desk, you're kicking the chair in front of you all day long. What are your grades like? Not so good. Would you like to be a superstar? Yeah. I can help you get there. I'll set goals. We know your fidgeting is causing you problems there. I'll set goals. And if you reach those goals, I'll bank your points, or play attention will bank them. So let's say we earn 10 points by the end of the week. What would you like to get with those points? A uh, friend over on Saturday. Great. Great selection. And long term, 500 points over the course of the next few months? A new MP3 player. Great. Very inexpensive now, and we can get one of those so we get both near-term and long-term rewards. So let's see how we do this. When we're working in Play Attention, I will use a special chart that comes with Play Attention if I need to shape behaviors. And this is a wet erase board. And you notice there are a series of behaviors here on the board. There are 18 different ones. If I need a 19th one that we did not include, I could write it in. But she is a fidgeter, so I'm paying attention to that. I just noticed that she fidgeted 12 times, so I simply put 12 in that little box. Now when we end play attention right here, we just click yes, I do want to quit. That same chart appears electronically, and play attention is reasonably intelligent here because it knows she's a fidgeter, it's highlighted in blue. I simply add in 12 because I saw her fidget 12 times. Then. And immediately I hit submit and in real time I get immediate positive feedback about her behavior. Right? So in just one activity we have seen her attention in real time. For the first time in her life she gets to see her attention in real time. Attention is concrete and controllable. Now with that we saw a direct relationship between attention and behavior and we have a full behavioral shaping program built around this. Now, I'm not going to go into depth on this. You can see a webinar if you'd like uh, to see how this works in depth. But we're giving immediate positive feedback. And research tells us that immediate positive feedback has an incredibly empowering effect on the brain of an ADHD student as well. All right, So that we can make changes and we can shape. Not only does Play Attention give you feedback, real-time feedback, regarding your behaviors, but it also gives you data based on your performance during the game. You can see a date and time stamp here, and then you also see my duration. I worked on that activity for a minute and 48 seconds. Of that minute and 48 seconds, I was actually paying attention. I was in the zone for 60% of the time. It also gives me added bonuses. I, I can see how many coins I received. It says I did not complete it because I did not play for the full five minutes. And it gives me my final score. The next screen is going to show whether or not I reached today's goal because Play Attention has intelligence written into it which allows you to do goal setting. So when I hit next, you can see that my goal for today was to play for at least two minutes and one second. I did not complete that today. So the next screen is going to give me a new goal based on today's performance. Tomorrow when I work on Play Attention, I want to play for at least 1 minute and 58 seconds. And if I do reach that, I'm going to earn 1 point. So essentially what Play Attention is doing every step of the way is setting goals which will challenge the student to improve. You don't have to worry about that. It's built into Play Attention's intelligence so that it does it for you. What I really want to show you that's very, very important is what we call academic bridging. And that's taking Play Attention and using it to do real homework. Now you can see I have an assistant and since she's an adult she's going to be balancing her checkbook. Let's go ahead and start the application here. The application is called Attention Monitor. And you can see it looks like a heartbeat machine. And notice the little red ball at the very bottom. And it has a little red line trailing. And I'm going to zero in on that so you can actually see it a little bit. There you go. Now she needs to push that above that yellow line. Good. Above the yellow line tells us that she's in a very focused state. She wants to keep that there while she's doing her homework. Because when she's above the yellow line, She's in a peak performance state, or her maximum state of attention. 
and by staying there we know she's going to be able to finish her homework on time. Now since she's an adult she's balancing her checkbook but if she were a child you could have her do math, reading, Very good. spelling and you can hear that play attention gives her feedback. As long as she's staying in the zone she gets the visual feedback plus she'll get auditory feedback as well telling her when she's in or not in the attentive state. This enables her to learn to stay in a peak performance state while she's doing something as boring as homework. Now, can you tap your pen for me like students do when they get a little bored? Watch what happens to the red ball. Focus. I just told her to focus. Now stop your activity. Go back to focus a full attentive state. Good. Focus. Good. Good. Now she's back in that state. Now every 30 seconds or so, the computer or play attention will tell her when she is doing well. It'll just give her a little bit of reinforcement. If she crosses that yellow line, it's going to tell her to focus because she's out of her attentive state. In this way, again, we can teach her to do homework in an appropriate amount of time without us as parents good. or teachers standing over her and threatening or coercing or begging or pleading. Again, this is a fabulous way to use play attention to learn to do homework on one's own. So I'm Max Gale and I'm a, a parent, I've been a, a teacher, an actor, most people would connect me up as an actor or I get recognized for the work I've done as an actor because it's a real visible kind of work. When people say, where do I know you from, which I hear a lot, gee, you look familiar to me or something, or haven't I seen you in the movies or something, I start with Barney Miller because it's a TV show that was on for, we shot for seven and a half seasons and then it went immediately into reruns and was on twice a night for another eight years in most cities and it's still playing someplace on Max. Um, really, really bright kid who was having difficulties with certain aspects of school. Play attention with the technology and the coaching comp component of it really creates a, a way that there can be that guide and a practice. Um, watching my, my son in particular, but really all of my kids in some ways, you know, uh, um, struggle with these things and then to see that there really is a, um, a way to use some technology and to deal with those issues in a way to create a sense of having some kind of empowerment over that rather than a kind of powerless confused sort of feeling that makes you want to deny it or run away from it or get angry about it or blame somebody or you know uh, it's that's a really wonderful thing as a former principal I think play attention was worth every penny that was spent on it and all the time that was spent on it because it has the power to change a child's life. When a child can learn to concentrate and participate in class, then he can learn. And that can be a life-changing experience. Hi, my name is Dr. Perot, and I'm a psychologist who specializes in ADHD. Uh, I've been working with the Play Attention program now for over four years, and I thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, today, I am considered by some an expert in ADHD. I uh, blog for Psychology Today. I've written a book on ADHD, Focus, Unlocking the Entrepreneurial Powers of ADHD. And I've helped thousands of kids uh, and adults work with ADHD. And Play Attention is one of the tools that I use in my arsenal that I've had a considerable amount of success with. What Play Attention gave me was something concrete, something specific that develop the things that children and adults would need to be able to focus better. It gave me the ability to increase their attention span, to increase their working memory. It was very specific, and that's what makes play attention so special, and why I think it's an integral and essential tool in learning how to pay attention. I talked to the play attention people, which were, they were wonderful. They always have been wonderful. I talked with a few other parents and decided, all right, we're going to try this. We're going to get the helmet. We're going to get the game. We're going to try it. Not a cure. It's a way to help them focus. 
When he's focused, the game works. When he's not focused, the game stops playing. He can see his focus on the screen. And that's big. It's a marvelous thing to see a kid learn how to focus. They can learn how to pay attention. They can learn to stop the impulsivity. We played play attention for about a year, and now he doesn't play any longer. He'll do some demonstrations and, and show you what the games are like, but once they're done, they're finished. Once they've learned, they're done. If you, if you told me a few years ago that I would be sitting here with, with this kid, with this wonderful child now that can go to school and is actually praised at school and got the best reader award last year, I don't know if I would have believed me either. When you look at play attention, you look at what it does and you understand the science, it really is like muscle memory in your brain. All you're doing is training your brain to focus. And just like your muscles, the more you practice, the more it learns, the more you retain. And that's exactly what play attention does. Play attention for us is the best thing our family's ever done. Is it a lot of work? Yeah. It's a lot of work for both the coach and the child. But it, this is a training lesson that Brody will keep for the rest of his life. There's nothing else worth that, doing that for your child. Play attention puts kids in control of themselves. I've been in special education more than 20 years. I've worked with special education programs in India, China, and South America. Public, private, nonprofit at the university level and in public education. This is the best scientifically based intervention that I have ever seen to address attention issues.